Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, yesterday was very interesting. Um, I finally, uh, the, the kid, um, uh, where uh, my uh, stepson goes to school with, um, he finally did call, call me or text me like a man um, to apologize for his actions. He explained himself that, you know, um, that it was a mistake, that it was a joke that went too far. Uh, of course, he didn't take blame. He said that the other person um, uh, kind of forced him to, but he was in the car. So, where, you know, he, Wherever the lie is, whoever taking ownership, whatever. Um, but it only it only came about him apologizing when I videotaped him. The car, the person that was in the car, screenshot it. It blew up the face. Um. Like, I, I'm not going to rehash of what I'm saying uh, about, you know, kids being dumb. Um, what I'm saying now is, security-wise, like, what? When people do this, and they do it so easily, and they can move off, and they can come to your property, that could easily be a hate crime. That could easily be, hey, let's just mess with this family. Um... You know, it, it could be anything. It could be, it could, it could be, it could be a race hate, hate crime. Um, I'm saying to myself, okay, what, what else can I do to make my place more uh, secure? You know, I have weapons, but it's not something like, hey, let me put, let me sling the shotgun over my shoulder to answer my door. You know, that's not kind of where I'm at. But I'm like, okay, what what more can I do to secure, you know, secure my house? I can't have a gate. Granted, they can still do it, but it slows them down. You know, when it comes to crime, and it, when it comes to, you know, people come to your property, you want things to slow them down. You want alarms, you want... Uh, dog, if you have it, just you know, slow down people' progress so you can grab your weapons. Um, I have three cra cameras, you know, and um, I have a camera on each end. This end, the ring, the ring camera in the the front of my house, and a camera to my left, to my left, which I didn't realize. The solar thing is no longer working, so it it was been dead. Because what I was trying to do was, okay, let me pull. I have it on my ring, but I'm gonna pull it from my other camera from a different direction. Um, then I realize it's dead. So it's good to always test your camp, your your security system to make sure it's working. Don't assume that it's working. Um. I thought about one more camera. I, I what I really want, I want a secret camera that I can have in my yard that nobody knows it's a camera. They'll think it's a frog or something, but it really is a security camera. Cause what I really want when these kids play these games, they run off knowing that people can't <coughs> can't get their tags. I want a camera, I can get your tags. So it'll record your tags. Um, but it'll be kind of hard because I don't know any type of camera. I know it's something out there. It's always something, you know. Um, but I don't know exactly, you know, where to find it to or how to look for it. <coughs> But um, the cameras is not going to stop people. People are going to still do what they want to do, you know. Um, I just want 
as many, I want as much of the face I can get. So even if they try to bypass my cameras and try to, you know, put something over their face or come a different direction so the camera don't catch them spot on, I want my cameras to be able to see them in, in, in any direction. <coughs> um, you know, it, it, it takes a lot of security. You know, now this is, this is, this is where I told the, the, the uh, man, I said, uh, you need to take, listen to some grown, uh, grown man advice. You're going to do that to the wrong door, and they're going to shoot you. And these men are African-American men. And for those who, who don't understand what I mean by that is that as black men, it makes it very hard people still are doing hate crimes or racial crime and racial profiling. You can say that if you want to, but say that it's not, but it, it, it's, it's, it's very much so. I belong to many groups and organizations and it's still as rampant as it was in the 1970s, 80s. It's just now you got cameras. <laughs> So I'm telling them, yo, don't play this game. You're going to play against the wrong house, and they're not going to find it funny, and they're going to shoot you. What happened, now this what happened Saturday night, I believe. Um, a kid who literally, he knocked on the wrong door, and it wasn't, it wasn't him trying maliciously. He... He, he was knocking uh, for his siblings to pick up his siblings, and this man shot him. He literally, it was the door over, but he thought it was this door, and he just simply just knocked, waiting for the person to open the door. And the person did open the door, uh, but shot him. Uh, just this weekend in Kansas City, it's, it's probably national news. Just this weekend in Kansas City, uh, they were marching in the streets. Um, so now this kid is sitting up in the hospital um, fighting for his life. So this this um, racist, I'm, that's all I can say because you, you, it, it, you was no threat. You just, you you saw opportunity and you shot them and you want to use castle doctrine and stand your ground as your your as your um your function now if the law goes right this man will be put to jail for for um killing an unarmed person who is not a threat now they got a fight in law. He got to prove that his life is under threat. And then the other side got to prove um, that his life was not under threat. And this kid was not a person in trouble. A lot of times, sometimes you have this situation where you say the kid, um, oh, he didn't mean to do anything, but he got a criminal record or something. So, he messed up, but not to the point where he getting killed. But he was still wrong. This kid actually wasn't had no nothing going on in his life that was bad. This person was on the honor roll, doing good in school, just literally simply just knocking on a door. Simply knocking on the door of somebody else. You know, and, and somebody took his life. So we, we got to be careful with these guns because you start putting guns and say, oh, well, you know, it's justified. And then you have this situation. Now you got to defend. Now you got to prove that you did it. Your life was under threat. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, anytime these cases get like this and start protesting and people start putting pressure, Politically, 
it, it, especially in the area he was, this is Kansas City, which is minority strong, very much so. So now this person got to go, you know, got to fight and defend himself. So, you know, I would, I hope these kids understand, hey, you, you gonna do this to the wrong person and, you know, and eventually, I'm glad the kid confessed it, but he, all he could do is just tell the truth and be done with it. It, it didn't have to go to the full end. Um, th this particular kid has some life issues going on with, you know, uh, a parent that's um, had terminal cancer. So I'm not going to hold it against him. Well, once he told me that and he called me uh, and texted me like a man, I'm done. You know, I don't have to. <clears throat> having more pressure and more um, ill will. I just take it as you made a mistake, you own up to it, and you move on. Um, a lot of people play God and, and, and say, hey, they made a mistake, let me hold this on you forever. Like, we all don't make mistakes. Like, your mistakes, because there wasn't cameras back then, doesn't mean that you didn't make those mistakes. So... I did all my rappling and raving. Um, I'm going to talk about my Umarex um, HDB. Um, I want to do a second review because I have that. Um, I'm going to talk to it in another video, but long story short, I'm not very impressed with it. So I'll tell you why in the next one. All right, have a good one.